There's more pillars of eternity. Let's talk to Sanjay. She draws up beside you, her fox following at her heels, and takes a seat next to you. Even if you are putting one over on me, it's nice to have a hunting party again. Oh. Sounds like you've been gone from home a long time. Five years for me. Must be thirty-something for Ichimok. Hearing its name, the fox looks up. How's the search going? It's been a long hunt. A long time away from my family. Before, I'd crossed the tundra of Nasitok following caribou herds. I didn't want to leave Kalu and our children, but I was eager to visit lands my people rarely do. But five years without finding him. It's like two hours of necking. I'm ready to be done with it. <laughs> Why do you have to find Persitok? Soul recovery is an old village tradition. We call it the Tarnak Elite Sock. Once in a generation, we seek the soul of a much respected and long dead village elder. We tell him what's changed in the village, how people remember him. The only other Tarnak Elite Sock during my lifetime happened when I was a girl, not long after Persok died. We feasted on blubber and fermented milk for a week, and we honored the chosen huntress as a hero. Then she left, and we returned to our duties. We still sang her name to the skies during festival season, but we otherwise didn't speak of her. What happened to her? I don't think she ever returned. It happens that way sometimes. She folds her arms, her expression sober. I see. It's not being forgotten by my village that troubles me. But sometimes I wonder how my husband and children remember me. If they think of me often. Returning to them is what matters. She nods. Both practical and true. Still, there's no point in dwelling on it. More often I find myself wondering whether Persok will remember us. You... claim to see souls. What do you think? Do you remember your past lives? No, not clearly. I figured. Most people don't, anyway. I suppose that's why I'm supposed to remind Perstak of what he left behind in our village. What would you tell him about your village? Masuk is probably much the same as it was a hundred years ago. We live between tundra and frozen forests, and the land takes as much as it gives. But our hardships bring us together. And the elders truly unite us. They keep the stories of past generations, and they guide us from season to season, through good years and lean. Eatmark brushes against her hip, and she scratches his head. Recently, there's been a lot of good years. My aunt says we have had fewer clashes with neighboring villages thanks to the hunting territory that Persak have established. In bad years, we rely on trade with the merchants that pass our shores. We exchange walrus tusks and seal pelts for grain glasses the hard winters. Persak broke a lot of those agreements too. She holds up the bare figurine. He got this from one of the Amawa ships that used to trade with us. Uh, wouldn't, a lot of the, wouldn't a lot of these developments have happened anyway? It's the duty of an elder to lead according to the needs and wishes of the village, so who knows? Sounds like you're on a hunt of your own, though. You're feeling the thrill of the chase? Or ready for this one to be over? Um, does it matter? I don't have much of a choice in this anyway. I know what you mean. Might as well move while we got some daylight. Uh, sure, let's go. As you wish. Uh, gonna gather all, and we're gonna pick up the supply. Let's see. Uh, looks like we can go down here. So we're gonna do that. 
Let's drop a save. Got some blood moss over here. I can't really go anywhere this way. It doesn't seem to be much... Oh, wait. A crate with just almost. Hmm. What, what is this place? Oh, hello. Let's hey. see. I'm gonna move up. Uh, you're gonna move back. You're gonna move up and you're gonna move up. Quite a few and one with two, three wizards. Uh, okay, uh, you're gonna move up, you're gonna move forward, you're gonna move forward. <laughs> Come on. Let's see, you're gonna attack him, attack him, attack him. Um, you can do a wounding shot, you can throw. This one in here, I think it's good. Like so. Doing some nice damage. Um, you can take this one. You can run in and take this. And you can help out with that. Uh, let's throw another one. Oh, let's let's throw this one in here for some more Oh, let's throw that one's almost down. This one's pretty short range. Let's throw this one in here. Uh, we should perhaps drop this one. Take that one down. Please. Oh, nice, he's down. And uh, both of you focus on this one. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, attack in here. You can throw this one down. And you can throw a heal. You can throw this one on him. Nice. Now you can help out here. And you can shoot down there. Like so. And throw this in here. That's good. Nice. Some fire in here. And one more. Nice, nice. You can attack out this one. Nice. All of you, folks, on this. Um, both of those should be dead pretty quick. Nice. So, quite a lot of dudes, but nothing we can't handle. As you wish. And some rods and some bones. Oh, and a chest uh, with some tooth and a camping supply. Which we don't need at the moment. And here we have some oil and a rope and grappling hook. What's this? The massive stone door of the tower is sealed, and there doesn't appear to be any way of opening it. Huh. Okay. That's strange. Let's see. Uh, let's let's explore up here then. I'm guessing there is some other way in. I mean, there have to be. Can't just leave a big tower there. 
and just say no sorry this there's nothing here this seems promising or not uh scepter and some coin oh and some food a door is this the way perhaps maybe you think that's the last part of this place Hello. I shall be quiet as a calm sea which is not very quiet some shrooms hello a woman bends over a roaring fireplace feeding splintered chair leg into it as you get close you notice something unnatural about her a certain pallor to her skin a lack of movement beneath her, beneath her flesh even while her arm executes deft efficient mo movements and then you see patched flesh ragged and bloodless bloodless over her heart would you think about just killing her first and having you talk to her body it's rude to stare you know <laughs> don't worry i've no mind to start anything with you after all, I've stayed in such good shape by choosing my meals carefully. Who are you? A survivor, by the grace of my own careful preparations. When I heard the claws scrabbling at the door outside, I took care of matters myself. And since then, I've been careful to keep myself fresh and fed. Do you know what happened here? An incredible act of animancy. Of a magnitude this part of the world likely hasn't seen since Anguithin times. Someone found something very powerful and ancient. And I'd bet my own preserved life it wasn't Aldhelm or his lovely assistant. I still don't understand why this district is full of walking corpses. She spins from the fire to face you. Because someone found a way to tether their souls to their bodies, don't you see? She taps her skull with an impatient finger. So when the heart stops beating, when the blood stops flowing, the body still animates. And with a newfound hunger, she turns back to the fire. Those that can feed it with living flesh and essence stay strong and sharp. Those that can't degenerate quickly tell me what you know about Aldheim his name barely merits repeating he's a charlatan who likes to dig up pretty artifacts and call himself a scholar the pity with animancy these days is that just about anyone can claim to be an expert I see I truly doubt that it's time for me to get going These tail stores are hard as rock. Left out to rot, these potatoes are covered with wet, crank smelling oil. Hmm. Let's let's save again. Let's A blade keep in the on sneaking. In case of traps. Let's see this, this stubborn bastard. It's done. Nice. More coin. Good, good. Let's see this stubborn this well. bastard. It's done. Hello. You. You're not one of Inca's servants. Please, you gotta get us out of here before she feeds on us. Um, what happened to you? We're just ground keepers. When the district fell into chaos, Inkatha took us in. Said she'd save, we'd be safe until the knights got things under control. Instead, she locked us in here. Every week, one of those monsters who serves her comes in and takes one of us away. I don't know what she's doing, but sometimes we can hear the screams. 
please, get us out of here. Stay here for now. Oh. Uh, restore light endurance, three per rest, plus one perception. Interesting. Let's see. Um, you have plus two might constitution. Let's let's give it to you. Yes. I think we have to kill you. You are an abomination. You return. What if you come seeking this time? I came across a group of people in the back room. She clerks. I hope you didn't disturb them. Running them up is quite a chore. Uh, it's time for me to get going. Uh, let's uh, hey. see. You're gonna stand here. What is it? You're gonna stand here. Hmm? Stand here. Ready, watcher. Following your lead. Yes. Like. Yes. So this should be good. Uh. What is it? We are going to attack. I hope you've gotten that out of your system. Stop me to get going. She serves nothing more than a few scratches after the fights. And I'm still, still not done. What is it? Come on. I hope you've gotten that out of your system. Why, why can't I? What is it? Okay. What? Why can't I kill her? Do I have to talk to you again? Go. Cool. Thank you. Can I talk to you now? Question mark. Maybe. You return. What if you come seeking this time? Okay. Nothing, nothing here? No? Mm, nowhere to go in here? There's nothing more up here? Doesn't seem to be. Oh, okay then. Let's go. Hmm. That was... That was strange. Then I think that's the end of this place, actually. So let's head out again. Um, I think we need to talk to the cruise, can't we? Ah, okay. Uh, talk to the crucible knights and tell them that it's all been cleared out, no problem. Just save your town from zombie invasion, no big deal. There, there's the nice man who helped me. And thank the iron arm for it. We'll get you sorted out at the keep. How do you do? Uh, okay. Don't have anything else to tell me. Uh, then let's go to the first fires. Then we're gonna head to Copper Lane. Because we do have something we need to wrap up there as well. But I think we're gonna end it here, folks. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks. It is greatly appreciated.